Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Come at you with Jazby's 11 box prospects, rookies, and stars. Baseball mixer featuring a Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph baseball giveaway. So at the end of the break, new dice roll. We'll randomize all 30 names, and the name on top will get a Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph baseball, which is pretty awesome. Good time to give that away. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into this break. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three and a two, five times. Names first. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. We've got Ryan L. Down to Drew Kerr. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we got the Tampa Bay Rays down to the Oakland A's. Now, trades are allowed, but remember to keep in mind all the different years of products that we have here. All right, so Ryan, you got the Rays. Scott V with the Cardinals, Jeff Iveson with the Orioles, Drew Kerr with the Pirates, Ryan Redman with the Giants, Michael Kuntz, Diamondbacks, Jake Johnston with the Astros, Jared Pletcher, got my Dodgers, Jay. We got Johnny with the Braves, Daniel D with the Nationals and the Brew Crew, Jared Nichter with the Padres, Austin with the Angels, Gabe with the Rangers, Ryan L with the Marlins, Drew Kerr with the Tigers, Amy, you got the Royals, Corey K with the Phillies, Chris Parent with the Red Sox, Michael G with the Blue Jays, Johnny G with the Indians, David Bruins with the Reds, we've got Johnny with the Twins, Jason Reardon with the White Sox, D-Mac with the Yankees, Karen with the Cubs, EA with the Mariners, Garrett Strauss, Last Spot Mojo, Rockies, Chris Miller with the Mets, and the A's for Drew Kerb. We've got White Sox up for trade, Rockies up for trade, Jason looking for a Chicago, Chicago trade. Now remember, we've got a box of 2015 Bowman Jumbo, All right? Then we've got 16 Donner's Optic. And then most everything else, three boxes of 2018, and then a lot of 2019. So just keep that in your heads as you trade. We'll give it a few extra moments. A's, Tigers, Pirates, all of our trades is Drew. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. I think I have all the supplies I need here too. Um, this was a uh, $55, Jair. 55 bucks plus a chance at a Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph baseball at the end of the break. All right, looks like no trades, so let's close it up. Trade window closed. TWC. Good luck, everybody. I guess we should start with the old and go towards the new. I think that would be a good way to do it. Let's slide these Diamond Kings boxes over here. And there it is. 11 box random team mixer number one. Good luck, everybody.
Let's go back in time to 2015. With what happened to Rusty Castillo? Carlos Rodon starting though. Three autographs in this one. 2015 Bowen Baseball. All right, good luck. Coming up after this, this break's gonna take a minute or two, but coming up after this will be NT Basketball. Um, I don't know yet if we have any, any more of the 2015 stuff, Jason. I uh, I was surprised to see it in this break, in this mixer, to be honest with you. So I don't know if this is was like a loose box we had sitting around or if we managed to pick up a case. Mm. Tigers are a tough team to draw. They're not that bad. Casey Mize is basically what you're hoping for. There's there's a decent amount of 2019-18 stuff. I'm assuming it says somewhere in the item description that paper base won't ship per usual. This stuff this stuff like this will ship though. Um, if I do if we do have any 2015, we probably wouldn't sell them by the box though. Jason, we rarely do that. Out of 499, David Dahl. We're seeing him in action. This 2015 stuff is pretty cool because you can be like, oh yeah, a lot of these guys are all are, are called up or almost being called up or already playing and stuff like that. So yeah, I heard about that. Casey Mize threw a no-hitter in his double A debut. He I think he he went up from single A and then promptly threw a no-hitter. He's he's the real deal. It seems like he's the real deal. Gonna be hashtag good for the hobby. Paper to four ninety nine. In eighty nine pitches? That I did not know. <laughs> That's crazy. There's Christian Arroyo. We got Steven Moya out of 150, mini for the Tigers. And TJ Chisholm to 150 for the Mets. Have not seen our autographs yet. It's Kyle Seeger. We got Robert Stevenson.
Hey, there's Ozino Albius, Bowman Scouts, 73. Who knew? Who knew? And we've got Michael Taylor, rookie autograph for the Nats. Daniel with the Nationals. Out of four ninety nine. Nice Michael Taylor. That's the crazy part about the hobby, folks. Especially Bowman baseball. This guy was number seventy three. I'm sure people got autographs, Bowman Scouts autographs of Ozzy Albius, and everyone's like, back in 2015, who's this guy? Guy's a nobody. Number 73. Come on. Sure, I mean, they're, they're the Luis Ortiz's of the world. But finding those diamonds in the rough. There's Dilson Herrera, rookie auto. For Chris Miller and the Mets. Should be one more autograph out of this jumbo box. There's Edwin Escobar, purple paper, 250 for the Red Sox. Uh, Colin Moran mini. And we got Logan Moon for the Royals. And that will be for Amy, Amy Thompson with that one. Andrew, what's going on? No worries. That was nice mugsy bugs. EA saying, hey, Pete Alonso still on the MLB Top 100 prospect. Could be Rookie of the Year this year. Uh, you know, Fern I don't know if he's playing today, but Fernando Tatis Jr. kind of had a hammy issue. If he's if he's out for a little bit, that could be time for, for someone like Pete Alonso to wrestle control of the NL Rookie of the Year race. Another mini. There's Alex Verdugo. AJ Pollock, apparently a issue with his elbow. Elbow infection or something like that. So he's been on he's on the IL right now. Verdugo may get some playing time. May get a lot of playing time. There's Chris Bryant Blue Wave. For the Cubbies. That's a nice one. Looks like this is a nice blue wave hot pack right here. Kyle Zimmer, Reese McGuire, and Brett Phillips. So dust off your Verdugo autograph. Verdugo in, in like kind of on and off limited playing time has been playing hitting really well. So he might he may Wally Pip AJ Pollock. Probably not, but AJ Pollock's getting paid too much. <laughs> Brian O, what's going on? And there's Raul Alcantara, three out of 50 gold paper. Or Sean Manea, remember when he was on Casey? Wait, how did he end up on the A's? What, what deal was that? I don't remember that deal. 
All right, so that was 2015 Bowman Jumbo. a little more room here. All right, what's the next year after that? 2015, let's go to 2016. Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. All right there, there it is. Could be a hot box. Nice, good luck. That's right. TJ, what up? Because of uh, AJ Pollock going on the IL to fill up, to fill that roster spot, Dodgers called up Matt Beattie, 2017 Texas League MVP and batting champion. So that could be that could be pretty interesting. Drew Kerr, what, Sean Manet was involved in a Zobris deal? Hmm. Dodgers kind of need a... Uh, is he a righty or left? Does he hit righty or lefty, TJ? Dodgers do need that right-handed bat in a sort of heavier... I think Justin Turner might be the only only one there, but although Bellinger's been hitting lefties and righties, so not as bad as previous years. All right. Got some old optic. Good luck. There's Carlos Correa to 99. Max Kepler to 99. Is this a hot, a parallel hot box? No, I don't think so. Not yet. I spoke too soon. And we got out of 125, Kettle Marte rated rookie autograph. That's a nice one. That goes to the Mariners. That is for EA. Got Mariners edition of Kettle Mart, who's, of course, on the Diamondbacks currently. 93 out of 125, Eric. So on the board early in this one. I think there's only, what, one per box, right? Bryce Harper to 149. Ooh, a redemption. Who were the redemptions back in 2016? You guys remember? <laughs> Donner's Optic Baseball. It's Nationals edition, Bryce Harper going to Daniel. And the redemption is, bam, Byung-Ho Park, rated rookie signatures. Twins? <laughs> There's like five Koreans in the in Major League Baseball. You would think I would know where this guy goes. Uh, he's still a twin. There you go. No, I think he went back to Korea. But in this set, he's a twin. So that goes to Johnny Gonzalez with the twins. No, not, not Henry Owens. 
All right, so that was 2016. Do we have any 2017 products? No, we're diving into 2018. We have two boxes of 2018. This tops Chrome right here. And Bowman Chrome right here. Although this is this stuff is nicer, so we're gonna, we're gonna save that towards towards the end. Oh, we also have Diamond Kings too, 2018 Diamond Kings. All right, so now we're in the world of 2018. By the way, folks, see that Inception right there? We've got um, a full case picker team of Inception right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So if you want to get into that, make it happen. I think all the baseball games are just, we're not, I don't think we're too deep into any of these baseball games. Top of the fifth. Cardinals leading the Nationals 3 to 2. Top of the 4th, Tigers leading the Phillies 3 to 1. Top of the 5th, Red Sox leading the A's 4 to nothing. Top of the 5th, Mets with a narrow 1 nothing lead on the Reds. Middle of the 4th and going towards the bottom of the 4th. Braves coming up to bat. Braves Padres tied at 2s. Astros with an early 1 nothing lead on the Twins in the bottom of the 3rd. Scoreless in Milwaukee, Colorado, Milwaukee, 0-0. Zero, zero. The Pirates-Rangers game just started. They're at zeros as well. All right, good luck. There's Miguel Andujar. Portraits, Ted Williams. Corey Kluber. And Tyler Maley. Rookie signatures for the Reds. David Bruins with Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. There you go. Nice rookie auto. Pretty solid pitcher. Shoei Otani, Sepia. We've got a Albert Pujols, Aurora. Does Panini honor expire redemptions? Yes. One way or another. I've heard a lot of people say that they they just go ahead and scratch off the, the code and enter it, and it goes through. So I've heard a lot of stories like that. Uh, if it doesn't go through, then they're usually pretty good about Helping you out one way or another. There's Miguel and Duhar, 75 out of 99 DK materials. For the Yankees, Darren McKenzie of the Bronx Bombers. He's one of the many injured Yankees making their way back. Shoei Otani should be back to, to hitting duties pretty soon. He's getting close. Obviously, he won't be pitching until next year. There's Earl Avril to 99, gray frame. Morotani, that's a nice short print right there, Angels. That goes to Austin Caruso. Cameron Gallagher, Luis Gohara, Ozzie Smith, and Shohei again. Trevor, you're still waiting on a redemption from Panini from back in 2004. Who's the player? A lot of times those delays are directly correlated with 
with the player not signing their cards. But if you know that those redemptions have been redeemed for other people, you, know, you should definitely reach out to them and see, be like, hey, either get me the card or hook me up with something else. All right, let's stay in 2018. Topps Chrome Baseball. It's a jumbo edition. We've got five autographs in here. Good luck, everybody. Amari Cooper, Amari Cooper, sign your cards. Yeah, definitely reach out to them if 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 it's been more than uh more than a few months or so but definitely reach out to them because a lot of times they'll they'll try to figure something out with you get you some compensation for it um, or they'll just ask you to hey if you want to keep waiting you can are there any football randoms that will break tonight I don't know if we have any random teams um, we do actually yeah we got 2017 flawless collegiate football that should break tonight. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And we've got uh, autographed mini helmets. That's a random break. That should go off tonight. And we've got 2019 Leaf Metal Draft. That's all on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, Tyler. Mr. Iverson, you have you got randomized the Orioles in this one. Do you have another? I think you only got one spot, right? I see you for Orioles. I don't, we haven't seen any O's yet. <laughs> Tower says Amari Cooper... Having trouble signing his cards. He keeps dropping them. There's Victor Robles to 150. Nice Victor Robles. Got another redemption here coming up. Raking. I think Cody Bellinger won player of the month, right? Yeah, Tyler, we break until uh, about 11 o'clock Pacific, so I would imagine one, if not more, of those will go off by then. Tyler, is that is that a uh, is that a little pug in your in your photo there? Your profile pic? There's Jackson Stevens for the Reds, rookie auto for the Red Legs, going to David Bruins. Jacko. Is that your pug, Tyler? Kind of reminds me of uh, kind of reminds me of this guy, old old Bubba the pug. Old Bubba the Pug. All right, that that is that is my baby before my babies as well. <laughs> everyone see uh, everyone see Doug the Pug, who is like an Instagram pug star, but. Uh, I guess he's in Nashville. I, I didn't realize Doug the Pug was in Nashville, an internet sensation, and he was there for one of the Titans draft picks. Your Pug's Bob Dylan? Nice. And there's Alex Mejia for the Red Birds. Red Legs and now Red Birds. Scott V with the Cardinals. Uh, Earl's a great name for a Pug. Well, why, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't the wife want to... A name, name of Merle Campbell. That's right, yeah. Cody Ballinger should win, should be NL Player of the Month. Leads the league in all offensive categories, all major offensive categories. I think uh, 
the average over 400 through April and a little bit of March, which is crazy. The other thing that he's been doing, playing great defense. That's a great one. He's running out a lot of hits. He's got a lot of infield singles. Just look up all the infield singles he has compared to some other, you know, traditional power hitters. I would argue that he might have the most. So he's hustling. He's on he's a he's on a mission, Cody Bellinger. Really, knock on wood, but only uh only injuries could hold him back. There's Scott Kingery to ninety nine and We've got Tyron Guerrero. Did I miss an autograph? <laughs> Sorry, too too busy talking about uh too busy talking about Cody Bellinger. Who was it? A cub? Oh, there it is. There's Victor Carantini. Just making sure you guys are paying attention. Just making sure you guys are paying attention. So that goes to Karen Seal. Sorry, Karen. I almost shorted you an auto. Oh, well, thanks, Tyler. If you ever visit California with the pugs, maybe the pugs can get together. All right, and Tyron Guerrero, or Tyron, goes to Ryan L. and the Marlins. 310 out of 499. All right, yeah, thanks, guys, for keeping keeping your eyes open on that. I'm sure a shipping team would have found it, but still, we want to see it live. Cody Bellinger reveals you are due to receive a rookie autograph blue refractor parallel of N, Nico, Nick, Nick Williams, who I think is a Philly, right? Still a Philly? Still a Philly. That goes to Corey K in the fight and fills. Oh, you'll see it. You'll see. You'll see him in the morning then. Kind of smeared there, but there it is, Nick Williams. All right, now where are we? We did a couple 2018s. So we're saving this 2018 towards the end because there's only three hits inside here. They're generally nicer hits. In fact, I'm saving Inception for last as well. So why don't we go through? So that pretty much puts us in 2019. Well, Gypsy Queen's right in front of us, so let's go GQ. All right. What are they, upper deck? Putting extra stickers on? All right, Gypsy Queen we haven't seen in a minute or two. So let's see what we got here. I do enjoy the quirkiness of the GQ. Wait, what do we have in here again? Two on-card autographs per box. NBA playoff basketball in the background. Keeping an eye on MLB scores. Got a lot of sports going on today. Today, 
ladies and gentlemen. I have financial interest in the Nationals. Financial interest in the Mets. The A's, the Braves, the Brew Crew, Minnesota, the Yankees, Blue Jays, and the Mariners. Crunched the numbers, and I found that there were value in picking those teams, so I, I took advantage of it. Jeremy S. saying Cano is out, so the guy to watch now is Jeff McNeil. Yeah, I was saying in the, uh, I think I was saying in the preseason, I was like, hey, deep sleeper pick for your uh, fantasy team, Jeff McNeil, infielder. All right, here we go. GQ. And all right, if I miss any of the, uh, the variations and stuff for the uh, our shipping team, we'll we'll be able to spot those and send them along. Where are the autographs? Corbin Burns is our first auto out of here. Rookie on card auto for the Brew Crew. Daniel D with the Brewers. Nice. Still scoreless in Milwaukee. Top of the fifth. Rocky zero, Brewer zero. And we got Brett Phillips. Black and white parallel. Wait, didn't Mike Tower have a Yasiel Pug? There was a Dodgers fan that had a pug named Yasiel Pug. That's a pretty good one. We just saw him a second ago. That's a good one. They used to sell uh, piggy banks at Dodger Stadium. But I don't know why they didn't call them Puigi, Puigi banks. It was like little, little pink pigs with like a Dodgers hat or something like that on it. That's a missed marketing opportunity. And Brandon Nemo is your second autograph. That goes to the Metropolitans. That's going to be for... Let's put the Mets in this. Chris Miller with the Mets. Edward Rosario has been raking. There's Yachty. The 250. And that should be numbered, yep, out of 99. Different color. No, I do not have any of the Puigi Banks, Mothro. Well, I mean, if it said Puigi Banks, I would get, I would have gotten it. I think. I think, but there, I think there were just Dodgers piggy banks. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe Yasiel didn't like the the pig and Puig combo. I don't know. Who knows? Alright. We haven't seen any some of these could be autographed, those box toppers, but we have not yet to see one. But nice parallels there. All right, give me a second. Let me put this away, and I think we're gonna do these Bowman boxes next. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll break things up with little Diamond Kings too. Good luck, folks. We'll do a 2019 Bowman Hobby. One autograph card per box. They, they do indeed, Mothro. They do sell ice cream out of a plastic Dodgers mini helmet. I think that's a classic staple of, of most ballparks, I would say. Find me a ballpark that, that doesn't do that. I think that would be the more intriguing thing. What baseball team doesn't sell, like, soft-serve ice cream out of a plastic mini helmet? Although my favorite is the, uh, at Dodger Stadium, is a, uh, they have carnation chocolate ice cream. That they sell, and that the, the cap has, like, a, they'll give, they used to give you a wooden spoon. They don't give you a wooden spoon. It's a plastic spoon now. But yeah, that's my, that's my favorite. That's definitely a 7th or 8th inning kind of snack. But I eventually have to drive. So, kind of with stop, stop beer consumption and add other snacks and water and carnation chocolate ice creams. Right, Mike, exactly. Either ice cream or nachos in a baseball helmet. Just something in a in a baseball helmet that you get to take home. And it must be required by MLB. Right? What stadium what stadium doesn't sell something out of a mini baseball helmet? Whether it's fries or ice cream or nachos, something. That's right, Drew Kerr. I agree with you. The Dodger Dog is better than the Fenway Frank. Drew Kerr is saying exactly that in the chat. There you go. That's right, Silver Stack. Robert knows. The Carnation Chocolate Malt Ice Cream. Ooh. Especially during day games. Late afternoon on a day game. Seventh, eighth inning. Sun setting. It's starting to cool off and you get that extra bit of cool with that chocolate malt ice cream. I think they changed the flavor one year. Chocolate tasted different, but kind of bummed they don't use the wooden spoons anymore. Dodger Dog's pretty delicious, though. I haven't been to a game yet. I gotta go. I gotta go soon. There's Sixto Sanchez, Cito Sanchez, to 150. Blue Chrome. Get a little focus here. There we go. Trevor T is saying, Will the Thrill used to give you uh, trick-or-treat candy and mini helmets back in the day. 
Like at his house? It's pretty cool. Mothro saying Mothro in, in in Reading says, "What funnel cakes are big at your at your ballpark?" And whoa, that's nice, Victor Victor Mesa. Nice Victor Victor Mesa for Ryan L and the Miami Marlins. It's a big hit. One of their top prospects, along with his brother, Victor Mesa Jr. Victor Victor is, a, is the more highly touted one. Trevor, my, my cousin Dan, who grew up in Northern California, my cousins are Giants fans. Um, but my cousin hits lefty. I would always, I would always imitate Will Clark's swing. He had, a, he had a nice stance, very tall, recognizable batting stance. Those are facsimile autographs, folks. There's Danny Jansen to 499 paper, parallel. There's Joey Wentz for the Bravos. Trevor says, grew up in the in New in Nolens, and it was a thing to trick or treat in his neighborhood. Nice. We're giving away, well, we'll show you right now. There it is. That's his autographed baseball that we're giving away at the end of this break. So we take all the names on that list right there. New dice roll, randomize the names, name on top, gets that Vlad Guerrero Jr. autographed baseball. JSA and everything. And we got some shimmer right here. Orion Cruz, orange shimmer to 25. That's for Johnny Gonzalez and the Braves. They're bringing back Bowman Sterling, folks. I'm excited about that. There's John Duplantier. You guys see, I, I saw him in the, there was the, him and the, the Yankees had like a, Yankees? Like a 15 inning extra innings game, and he, he pitched a few innings. Dude, he could be future closer right here. Now I think you I think you spotted that this orange shimmer, Michael G. Still nice though. All right, let's mix things up a little bit with, let's do this. And then we'll do these at the end. So this is 2019 Diamond King. We saw 2018 a second ago. Drew Kerr plans on going to the, to the peak soon for a game. You'll let me know how it stacks up to the Fenway Frank. Yeah, we need, we need to do... Do you need to do uh, hot dog rankings? Nice. Trevor's going to go see Vlad Guerrero Jr. play against the Astros in August. Yeah, I'd like to see him play. Motho says, is $2.25 for a hot dog at Reading? Oh, man. It's like, I don't know, 6 to $8 for a hot dog in, in L.A., if you get like a fancy hot dog, it's like ten bucks or something like that. Twelve bucks. Yeah, 
Yeah, my author's saying he hasn't been out to a, a, a Reading game yet. Because it's still too cold. Yeah, there's still games being postponed for weather all around the country, which is, which is crazy talk. Oh, it looks like there's some sort of pitching duel happening in, in Milwaukee, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Uh, I have seen craziest ballpark food list. I think the Dodgers did like a promo night where they had, where they, where they were featuring foods from different ballparks, like, like deep fried crickets or something like that that they have in Seattle, among among other things. There is nice Tuki Toussaint autograph for Johnny G, and the Bravos. Nice. If he if he gets a little bit of that control, because he's got he's got strikeout stuff, walks a lot of guys. He had home run today. Um, so if uh, if he can get those walks and his control in place, he could be a really big part of that Braves rotation. And Taylor Ward is your dual relic going to Austin and the Angels. So Michael G. saying, I've pulled a couple Vlad Chrome refractors from Blaster Packs a couple days. Green, base refractor. Also a Tatum Silver in a clearance pack of Prism. And he's got randomized the Blue Jays, so he wants more Vladdies. Man, what, what luck with all that retail stuff. Javier Baez, frame. So what's the boomstick for 35 bucks? It's it's a 28 inch hot dog? Man. All right, we're getting there, folks. Getting there. Let's do this jumbo. Then we'll fly through these, give away that, and then we'll be on to the next break, which will be, uh, which will be uh, NT basketball. And after that, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. I see uh, about a dozen orders though, so we'll go through those after the next couple breaks. We'll go from there. I don't know if I could eat. I don't know if I could eat a 28-inch hot dog like in one city. It's only like two. It's like two foot longs, right? Which I could which I could handle in the course of a ball game, but in one sitting, I don't know if I could do that. I feel like the other half would just get cold, and then I'll just be like, oh, now it's just kind of now it's just kind of gross, All right? Trevor says, Google the images, it'll blow your mind. It sounds like a, sounds like some good clickbait right there. See how this hot dog is disrupting the hot dog industry. Ten ways this hot this monster hot dog. You won't believe the ten ways this monster hot dog is disrupting the industry. It'll blow your mind.
Right, make sure you have your safe search on. All right, Jumbo, Jumbo box. Oh, I see. Tre Trevor says, Trevor says his family shares. His wife, daughter, and himself share shares the hot. Okay, so that makes sense. See, otherwise, I I don't think I could ever eat that in one sitting. First autograph is Chris Shaw, rookie autograph for the Gigantes. Ryan Redman with the Giants, a little oppo Joe Mojo. Yeah, but that's like Trevor said. Well, I eat half. That's well, then you just ate a foot long. That's just that's just you know kind of a standard hot dog <laughs> at ballpark hot dog. Oh, Jeremy S is saying it's sad when uh, food at the ballpark is cheaper than the movie theater. Yeah, you should see – well, I don't know. I'm sure this is happening all over America, but I think there is um, – I think a lot of theaters have like uh, like assigned seating and then they, they have like like gastropub type food delivered to your seat. You can get food like delivered to you, like proper food. That stuff's getting really expensive too. We've got Brent Honeywell to 150 Atomic, and we've got Jonathan Hernandez, 78 out of 250 for the Rangers. It's going to go to Gabe with Texas. Purple Chrome. Now I'm getting hungry. There's Rylan Bannon, Bannon to 4.99 Orioles. There's Aramis Garcia to 499 paper and there's Jazz Chisholm to 250 for the Diamondbacks. Jason Bell, what's up? Um, I don't know. Like within, depends on when you requested. If it's at night, probably by next morning before I go on air. I guess the company line is within 24 hours. 
but usually it's far less than that. Um, I mean, you probably just Google it, Mothro. I don't. I don't know exactly what site this this craziest food list is on. Or maybe Drew can say what site he found it on, and then you could look it up. But I'm sure there's like multiple lists of like craziest ballpark foods that you can just Google. And there's a uh, Orian Orarian Darian. Is that a D? I think that's a D. I've been reading that as an O. Maybe I should get my eyes checked. Probably should. Look at that. It's a D. Darian Cruz. Come on, Joe. I actually do have to get that checked out. Well, I don't do I don't take care of those, Jason. But if you email us at jazbeescasebreaks at gmail dot com, you can request one there, and then our team will take care of it at some point. All right. So that Brendan Rogers goes to Garrett Strauss and the Rockies. Speckle. When's he coming up? Soon. Kind of blocked by Trevor Story and Arenado and whatnot, but Rockies have a lot of young. Infielders that they they can be coming up soon. David Dahl's already in the mix. Brendan Rogers would be a good one. Rymel Tapia. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, Mothro. Drew's got some info for you. All right, a couple boxes of Inception, and then Bowman Chrome, and then we'll give away that autographed baseball, the Vlad Guerrero Jr. autographed baseball. Ray, I, I don't have anything to do with the shipping department, I'm afraid. But if you shoot us an email, jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com, you can uh, see what's going on with that there. Uh, my guess is that it was shipped separately, though. That stuff usually is shipped separately from... Hits. All right, there's Jacob Nix. There's Daniel Ponce de Leon to 150. And behind Luis Urias, I think, is a patch autograph for the Braves, Kyle Wright. 47 out of 75. Nice one for Johnny Gonzalez and the Atlanta Braves. Next box. Another patch auto. I don't know who the team was, but I spied another patch auto. Aaron Nola, Masahiro Tanaka to 150. And behind Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays is, wow, another Brave for Johnny. Two out of 40, great patch, nice auto, Ozzy Albius. Nice. Braves box. And the last three autographs are going to be nice ones, I hope. 2018 Bowman Chrome HTA. Remember, these are in that slider box. Some nice stuff. So this is 2018. Some 
color in there, maybe? All right, first one is going to be Christian Robinson for the Diamondbacks. Michael Kuntz with the D-backs. D-backs playing some strong baseball in spite of losing a bunch of players. Patrick Corbin, key players. Patrick Corbin, A.J. Pollock, Goldschmidt. Next one is for the Astros. Rugelio Armenteros. For the Strohs, Jake Johnson got randomized the Astros in this one. And last but not least, it's blue. It's, wow. Little Dodger Joe Mojo, 111 out of 150, Alex Verdugo. Blue parallel, on-card autograph, Jared with my Dodgers. And with A.J. Pollock injured on the Dodgers, an elbow infection, this guy's going to get a lot more playing time. Let's see what he's got. In limited playing time, he's been showing some great at-bats, a lot of homers. We'll see what happens here. Nice box there. All right, now... Who gets the Vlad Guerrero Jr. autographed baseball? There's a JSA sticker on the back here, too, and you get that JSA card. So let's go back to the list. Let's go with Michael Kuntz all the way down to Daniel. And everyone has a shot at it. Let's randomize that list six times, four and a two. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Name on top after six times. Congrats to Karen. There you go, Karen. Karen with the Vlad Guerrero Jr. autographed baseball. Congrats to you. Thanks, everybody, for joining the break for making it happen. We've got um, a full case of Inception in the store if you want to tackle that, baseball fans. jazbeescasebreaks.com.